Earlier, the movie on installation showed you how to install all of J2EE. This lesson is about starting the database and connecting to it to make sure it's installed and that you can run it. You can start it running from the menu like this. This command window indicates that the database is now running and it's ready to accept a command. Now, from a command line window, you can start the console running with this command. You can see the name of the driver and the URL of the database. You can see that the username is pbpublic. Now what you can't see is that the password is also pbpublic. To make the connection, you select the OK button. And the connection should show up like this as having been made. To check it out and make sure it works, I'm going to create a table and put some stuff in it. In the SQL command line at the top, I'm going to enter a SQL command that will create a table. And don't forget the semicolon at the end of each command line. Now let me add a couple of things to the table. Now nothing's been done yet. The commands have been recorded. You can scroll up and down and you can open the window to see them all. You can execute the SQL commands all at once by selecting Execute All at the top. Selecting the Execute All tab at the bottom of the window shows the results of execution. This has already been done here. Now you can see where each command was executed. The table should have been constructed. And to verify that, you can enter an SQL command to read the data and look at it like this. There you see the contents. The database is working. Now you can clean things up with the drop command. Now you can close the console and to stop the database you can go back to the menu or you can just type quit into this window.